Hey everyone, so I know it might be hard to believe, but it is officially 2023 and I am playing MKX. Yes, for some reason I had just the idea of jumping on MKX and see how this game is doing. I periodically do this just to like, again, check if this game is still active and unbelievably, this game is still active. Now, if you guys are not familiar with my history of MKX, I absolutely love this game. It's one of my favorite fighting games, personally. I really enjoy it. This is the first fighting game I ever really got into, like properly learned. So this game has a very special place in my heart. And the fact that I can jump on February of 2023 and easily, easily get matches is kind of unbelievable. So yeah, there is really just no other aim of this video. We're bringing it back because I don't normally make these types of videos anymore. But we're bringing it back and... Oh shit, is that? And yeah, we're just playing a little bit of MK... MKX because this game is unbelievably fun. Now, you guys know. I don't think I have to like really explain that... I am mad rusty at this game, so don't expect, don't expect anything amazing, but yeah, I'm gonna try my best. I am playing, of course, Boraicho, who, Bartitsu Boraicho, who is an incredible noob killer, and I'm sort of counting on the fact that Everybody is gonna be just as rusty as I am, and I think that's proving to be the case. I mean, you really... You really just gotta, you know, think about the fact that he could just entirely zone me out. Because Boraicho is... I am not getting that combo. Because... Boraicho is incredibly weak to zoning, so yeah, he could have just sat back through fans all day and I probably would have been absolutely screwed, but yeah, it just didn't happen this way. So yeah, again, I just feel like bringing back the old school video style for a little bit. Am I like fucking... Was my mic on the entire time? Oh no. <laughs> yes, because this is... Oh man, this is... I think actually this is probably only the second or third time I'm playing this game on PS5 and it's really embarrassing because this shit has its mic on all the time or I'm sure you can turn it off in the options but it was extremely embarrassing like this is I am the type of pay player that I absolutely hated fighting against you know like the guy that has its mic on and like you can hear his like family fighting in the background or his brother crying or something like that yeah that was me except no crying brother so yeah a little bit awkward but we got through that we got through that yeah i mean just look at how easy it is to get matches so yeah i think this is kind of a testament to this game's longevity i'm sure if i jumped on mk11 i probably would get matches as easily but i really really dislike mk11 um i i absolutely fucking hate that game. It's it's awful. Uh, it's a... oh shit. It's a god-awful fighting game. And yeah. NRS should be embarrassed that they made it. Nah, I'm only kidding. I mean... But jokes aside... I really do have my issues with MK11. That is a bad break. Because somehow it managed to be the worst of both worlds in that it kept all of the broken shit and all of the obscene, like ridiculous, like busted gameplay things that this game had while also turning the game down just enough to make it incredibly boring. So, like I said, shut up phone. It really is the worst of both worlds, uh, because if you're gonna have an insane game like this game, at least commit to it. What I like about this game, especially this last release, is that 
this is probably loud as hell, is that it commits to being batshit insane. It has all the overheads, all the lows. Like, this combo with Boraicho that I'm doing, that I'm just basing my entire gameplay around, is a mid into an overhead into a low, incredibly quick. And from there you can go into medium, like mid, mid overhead, mid low you can mix it up turn all of those onto fu into full combos it's just absolutely insane but this game at least commits to being batshit insane mk11 really tried to be all slick and be really tactical and it just ended up being lame as hell anyways i'm gonna cut all of this shit out oh no no i don't i don't need to i don't actually need to i'm getting that I'm like Damn, crazy. I'm getting matches that quickly. Oh shit, he's talking. I'm like, why is... Jesus, this is my first time playing on um, fucking PS5, now that I'm realizing. Has it really been that long? Because I totally didn't know the his commentary comes through the controller speaker, which... Is a little bit wild when you think about it. I'm like, who the hell is talking near my crotch? And it's the other guy. That is for me to decide. Your decision. He's gonna be fucked. Like, this guy has a 414 win loss ratio. Yeah. Why do I keep doing the. Oh, that's a combo too. That's what I want. Can I pull off? No, I can't. Like, can I pull off the full combo? Is he gonna get hit by the fart? <laughs> Almost. Oh, I'm totally gonna get farted. Like, I'm totally gonna fart him out. I think he should be dead. Yep. That's Bartitsu for you. I mean... Back one four. That is that is your move. I'm I'm so gonna get him. Come on. So gonna get him with the fart. That is such an old tactic. Yep, his kids are talking or something. Low. See, now I went. But yeah, like I said, um, I've been around the block, that's what this guy doesn't know. And the fucking playing Assassin Kitana and... I don't remember any of the brutalities. Playing Assassin's Kit Kitana, doing the fan throw and going for the run is the oldest trick in the book. It's the oldest one. It's pretty much like Jackie full auto combo spam. Or like gun spam. Except, you know, when this game used to have shitty online, because this game did have shitty online for a long time, that was like nearly unreactable. Alright. Let's play someone else. I don't want to just like bart it to spam all the way through. Who else did I used to play? I mean, Shinnok is the classic. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I remember like zero Shinnok combos right now. I didn't practice too much, I just went into training mode with Bartitsu to just kind of get readjusted to the controls. Cybernetic, interesting. That's a good one. That's a good Kano. But yeah, the only, honestly, the only thing I can hope for is when the new MK slash Injustice comes out. And when the new... Did I pick the wrong one? Oh shit, okay. When the new fucking Street Fighter comes out, all I can hope is that it's gonna have the. That is the wrong combo. It's gonna have the longevity and sort of. I don't even know what you call it. Like, I'm just hoping that game is gonna grab me as much as this game did because. 
This thing is truly special. And I'm just like, not just... At least I don't think I'm just looking at this with nostalgia goggles. But yeah, I have mid projectiles as well, except he's fast as fuck. I can see what this guy is doing. That's fucking a... What? Oh, because yeah. yeah, 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 that's not a mid. I cannot believe that did not hit. Just grab him. I know I like to like actually concentrate against this guy because he's zoning. Stun lock. Does he not know that? He does know that. He doesn't know that though. That has a brutality on it that I don't know how to do. Probably the first time I actually had to make an effort. Yeah, Cybernetic Kano, classic zoner, but has some good combos too. Used to play. I pretty much played almost every character in this game. The only ones that didn't really ever grab me are Aaron Black. I just never... he's, he's not the type. Um, none of the horror characters really gravitated ever towards me. Like Alien, I don't really like. Jason is okay, but Alien definitely not. Actually Predator too. There's a be way better theme too for DLC characters. I like the horror theme way more than what MK11 had with the action theme. I don't know. I feel like Robocop, Rambo and all those are cool, but not as cool as fucking Alien. Oh, is that the same guy? The microphone guy? I think it is. Sure, I mean, I'm not expecting a huge range of players here. Obviously. But who should we play? Who else did I like use? Jackie. I used to play Jackie, didn't I? Full auto. Should I? <laughs> nah, that would be too. Uh, I I might actually put the guy off of the game if I do Jackie spam. I do not remember her combos, just like vaguely. Um. So this might be an absolute catastrophe here. Oh, hey, winging it. That's the... So, she used to... Oh, that's... That's it. That's it. It's... And she has something like... Yeah. We can get a couple of machine guns in there. So, this was the tactic. I remember it. I've been on the receiving end. I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, that does so much chip. If you don't know what to do against that, it can be a miserable time to fight Jackie. Alright. I don't want to put this guy off of MKX, so... Is that not a mid? I think you're gonna lose if you try to, um, yeah, that ain't gonna work. I'm sure she has a, as a mid attack. Hmm, I'll have to look into it. I mean, obviously it's been like pretty much over a year since I've touched this game. Definitely. Cause I got the PS, uh, has it? When I got the PS5, like July of 21, and I don't think, yeah, it's been way over a year. I don't think I've played this game ever on PS5. I haven't even played MK11 on PS5, actually. I dropped MK11 so quickly. 
It's not even funny. I don't even own any of the second DLC character. Ooh. <laughs> we <laughs> might have saved the best for last. Um, this guy, this guy is serious. Dragonflyer, Liu Kang. All right, then I'm bringing out the serious Bo Raicho. Anybody who uses that Liu Kang skin, you know they mean business. Like, this guy has been grinding this game all this time. And I'm probably gonna get my ass handed to me. Downpok. Yep. That's safe. I had the combo there. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> yep. What I was expecting. I can't believe that. I'm trying to armor out. Ouch. This character. This is pretty much the this this is the best character in this game. I mean Dragonfire Liu Kang, I think, even with the nerves. He he is up there. Yep, he doesn't know. He's a good projectile too. Fuck, I'm trying to armor, I don't know why it's not working. I didn't... I didn't even think that would work. I I can do this. I can do this. Too much rice wine. <laughs> Final round. Fight. Fuck, I... I did a cross-up and I didn't mean to. That is fucking insane. I'm sure there's a way around it. And... Oh! He knew! It's the oldest trick in the book. Of... He's gonna fucking chip me. Chip me. Ah, no! No, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Yeah, he, he does so much damage. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't do as badly as I thought I would. I thought I was gonna get absolutely destroyed. I could have gotten that, but yeah, this character is kind of hard to fight against. Uh, I can't believe my trick didn't work. I mean, that's the oldest MKX trick in the book where you do the unsafe move into armor. That's like, yeah, day one trick, but it works. It works. Sometimes. He's gonna get a free win now, I think. I mean, 2878, I should have this. Uh, let's play someone. Who else is like, oh, Kung Jin. They didn't bring this guy back, did they? I don't know what to do with this one. I know he's the Chakram, he's pretty good. Yeah, boring. I, I think Kung Jin is, Interesting gameplay wise, just the personality and the the look are just so generic. He had that fire fucking neutral jump though. It's insane. I'm gonna start with it. That's how insane it is. I'm gonna Of course it works. Oh what do you do with this character? Something like this and then I think yeah that was that was what you did with this character. And the other one... I think something like that. I don't remember his combos. Okay, this guy is... I don't mean to be an asshole, but how in the hell did this guy get 28 wins? Neutral jump. Oh! 
I'm gonna, I'm so gonna get demonetized. That is, this is officially my ticket to demonetization. I'm gonna have to censor that. Yeah, if you guys don't know, YouTube ain't exactly the biggest fan of the MK franchise, and I think that's, god, the range on that. Oh, come on! That's what you do. That's the combo. And then into the, the up and the drop kick. I mean, I feel like if this guy got a redesign and he had more interesting sort of armor sets and all that, he could be pretty good. I feel like he's just like a mishmash of everything. Like, he has the bow staff, he has the chakra, the arrows. It's like, it's too much. He's doing too much. But yeah, this guy was a nightmare. What was the variation? Bojutsu? Bongjutsu, as it was affectionately called. Yeah, the Bongjutsu variation was an early game nightmare for sure. I still can't believe how quickly and how easily I'm getting matches. I think we're gonna do this one and call it a day, but I'm definitely gonna be playing more of this game. Whether on the channel, I'm not sure. Maybe occasionally we'll check in, but... Should I... I'm not gonna know what to do with Bong Jutsu, that's for sure. I'm gonna have to take Bong Jutsu into training mode before I even attempt to do anything. Tremor. This is also probably a top three character. Tremor, just any variation. He has just so much. I feel like they just went, yeah, let's just give this character everything. No, we'll just see how this goes. Man, this game has so many cool characters, like everything, like Boraicho. Oh, 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 oh. I can do the same shit. Yeah, just don't try to anti-air in this game, that's like... Is he just gonna jump? Oh shit. What am I doing? What am I, what am I actually doing? This guy is just really chaotic. I feel like I got this. Neutral jump. I cannot believe that didn't work. He, like... Okay, he doesn't block. See, he doesn't block. Alright. <clears throat> you know what's gonna get this guy? The farts. Yep. Oh, he blocked. Reset. That's not the... What, why is he saving his meter so much? Yeah, that ain't gonna work. If you have that x-ray and you wanna use it, use it because... You're just... That was a really, really weird fight. He just like, he just like stopped doing anything. You see that? Let's end on a high note, right? A drunk note, I should say. Yeah, what can I say? I know this is probably partly nostalgia blindness because man did this game have a lot of broken shit and a lot of just insane decisions throughout this lifetime. I'm not like blind to all of this. I know that the online basically didn't function for a good early portion of this game. It had to be like its whole, whole like update with a network test and everything, but the end product is something wonderful. And I like when fighting games get to that point, like how Street Fighter V did it. It's a fantastic product at the end. So like I said, I'm gonna practice some Bong Jutsu. I can only hope that 
the next installment of MK and the new Street Fighter game is gonna have this much like fun. All I want is a fun fighting game. What the fuck is going on? Is that not? Oh, okay. I'm doing the wrong move. Yeah. Gonna bong jutsu it up and next time I'm gonna be the best bong jutsu player online currently. Until then, thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this old school, actual me playing games with live commentary, do give this video a like and yeah, I hope to see you guys on one of my streams which are happening, currently playing Dark Souls 1 and whatever I, else I decide to do. Yeah, thanks for watching, I'll end it here and take care and peace out.